What you can't video, of course, is the the funny smell, right? Well, so no. There was at some point. I guess it must have been the previous <laughs> owner. There was a bigger. Um, how do you call this? Yeah, I don't know what you call it. Valance, I guess. I don't know what it's called. Because you can still see the the frameworks. The frameworks, and maybe that's when the original water damage was. But when this was inspe <coughs> inspected, <coughs> we didn't have these on there. And you can see here how the ceiling kind of dips. Yeah. And point it out. Yep. Um, kind of here is either some damage covered up at some point. Now, do or you have any reason to believe this did not exist during the inspection? Is this something new that you guys did? No. Okay. No, I just, I'm just trying I to think, clarify. And I think you can. <clears throat> and I think you can tell <clears throat> on the picture. Uh, from the inspection, okay. or from 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 the listing or whatever the pictures of when we bought the house, that okay. this was already there, and it's not just this one. I mean, it's over here too. The whole thing is kind of wavery. Yep, yep, and, and it's kinda, discolored too. Yeah. I'm not sure it's that clear. And if you tap it, <clears throat> no, you don't need to. Okay. I understand, but you can see. You can kind of almost see it better from from the distance, right? When you walk in the room, it's kind of like, what the hell? Yeah, happened here. And you can see how the light is. Uh, there's a bulge. You see what I'm talking about where the light is bright here on the outside and not here? Okay. All right. Okay, this is some of the uh, roof damage that um, I'm observing. Yeah. Uh, at the back left-hand corner of the house, where we showed the rotting wood earlier. Now we're looking at the underside. Mike, what comments did the roof inspector make? The underside, the, the uh, estimator said that um, it's kind of, it's not as bad here as it is on the other side, but you can tell by just looking at this, this was recently painted. If you look at it, the paint looks really fresh. The house was painted. Yeah. The, uh, and and um, so it's hard to tell, but this this I mean, even by looking at the soffit, this was painted very very recently. So it'd be hard to uh, to see any real damage. Okay. Um, right after it's got painted. All right. Any other comments you want to make on this area? No. Okay. It's a bummer. Yeah. story okay this is on the uh, front of the house area what we have here is obviously some rotted wood as you can see underneath it's obviously damaged anything else you want to point out uh, no these no, these nails these are the result been pulled up or with this buckled no this no this buckle because the uh the uh, plywood board is bad. Okay. I mean, there's no structure left in there. This whole, this whole thing moves. Yeah. All right. Let's go see your next spot. Yeah. Uh, choose Titan Roofing for a reason. Yes. What? The reason was they did a really good job on the um, Dingo House. Okay. So we said, well, we'll get the exact same crew out here. They're great. We had like I don't know five different roof guys coming in. But they're the ones that were on it. They had a professional estimator. They had a good price. They could back this. Two of them would never even respond. So I'm like, these are the guys. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. So the Titan guy comes in because I wanted to have the roof inspection and because I saw a few of these panels look discolored. Were there any other symptoms you noticed that caused you concern? Because there was the discoloration in the, the bottom bedroom. The second I walk in, the, the whole room smells a little bit like boat. Moisture. Like you can smell that was water damage. Yeah. And there's some visible moisture and uh, water damage on the on the ceiling right board the uh, um, Valance. Valance. Glass. Yeah, a, oh, they had a Valance there before yeah. you. Uh... Well, we'll look at that. Okay. I'll show you that later. So, knowing this, feeling the, the room downstairs kind of funny and wanting to have the foam put on. The foam girl walked all the way in and I walked, I walked with her back there and I saw another discoloration right over where that what looks like water damage was in the in the room so that's when i brought the titan guys out again and he just lifted up one 
one tile and said, well, you know, here you go. And then continuing his inspection, he's like, look, there's a, there's a repair done already here around the, uh, that did some work around the, uh, fireplace. And then it turns out later that Titan were actually the guy, when we called them for the estimate, they said, oh yeah, we know this house, you know, Rex Losby. And we said, no, that was, that was the previous owner. It's like, yeah, he had, um, we gave him two estimates. So he, I One assume he called him out because he was having roof problems. Would he be had the assumption. Must have had a, and they gave him a, They don't keep track of uh, you know what exactly, but they said we gave him two estimates. One to just fix the damage around the uh, uh, fireplace, and one for the entire roof. And that's that's as far as we know. And he only signed the one for the water damage around the uh, fireplace. So they came out and just fixed the water damage around the fireplace. Okay. Now looking at the. Uh, the vent next to where the actual damage is, somebody put, unprofessionally put um, a bunch of caulking around the uh, the vent there, thinking maybe the water came through the vent, which it didn't. It came actually through the roof. Um, so maybe he did something there. I don't want to, you know, speculate, but maybe somebody did something there, thinking they're gonna fix this problem, and it didn't get fixed. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's a normal panel. Um, they are all kind of the same color and then here is a panel in the back that has slight discoloration compared to the other panel and that's what made me suspicious that there's three panels or two panels that look different and these are the ones we saw early on the outset that are kind of messed up these look kind of like they have raised grain from here do they? they look like raised grain especially on that one side I'm trying to show it as good as I can, but let's see if that works. Okay, taking my mask off here. This is as far as we went, and then we looked all the way back here. Now, as you can see, the guys were working on it, and um, they kind of fell through the ceiling. But what <clears throat> hopefully this camera will show is um, that the discoloration of the wood. Here's the other wood. Looks normal. Looks good. Then we come down, down, down. And hopefully this shows because I can't go all the way back there. Dark spot on the wood. And this is what led us to uh, call on the Titan guys the roof guys to um, um, come out and look at this from the outside and get an estimate by a guy who knows what they're doing. This is what was sealed off as you can tell there wasn't really a problem with this uh, so this was not the cause. The cause came the roof was just leaking and old and it wasn't caught. Yes I can! Okay, this is some more uh, damage on the front of the house. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. wow, that one's got to be tough. Absolutely. Well, that one is easy. That's, that's going to need to be changed. These two pieces? Were you, uh, were you involved when they did the original inspection of the house at all? No, no. He's, okay. He's that needs to be changed. Well, that needs to be changed. This one is still good, but that doesn't be new. No, no, change that one too. Oh, yeah. That one's already showing damage. Yeah, that one has to be done. This is the one we looked at earlier. Here's some of the uh, rotted wood that's been pulled. <laughs> 